but I want to say thank you to you. I haven't had an orthodox career, and I've wanted more than anything to have your respect. The first time I didn't feel it, but this time I feel it, and I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. What kind of validation is it that we're seeking out from other people? Is it something that's far less authentic to who we are as people? Um, is it somehow kind of related to the types of clothes we wear or the kind of jobs that we have, really fancy jobs? Maybe we make a lot of money. Maybe we travel in really elite social circles. Maybe we have a super fancy home that we kind of decorate to the nines. Is it that kind of thing? or uh, is the kind of validation that we appreciate and like to get kind of much more representative of who we really are at the core. What really makes us up as people authentically? Is it more about something, some kind of recognition of something that we do that really kind of touches us, some extension of who we really are, something that incites a level of joy within us that has some real deep meaning and value to us. And if that's the kind of validation that we really appreciate, then we're on the right track. When we talk about gay men specifically, it's kind of a, kind of a unique experience then as it relates to validation. Homophobia exists and we don't live in a vacuum being gay men ourselves. So when we grow up, we grow up in the homophobic culture and society that essentially dictates to us that our worth and our value really isn't so much, that it's secondary, that we're second rate. Um, and so for, then, for that reason, it's really difficult for us to feel comfortable to remain connected to our authentic selves. But the reality is, is that coming out of the closet and identifying as a gay man, though it's a huge part of the process, it's not the only part of the process. There can still be so much underlying shame that so many gay men are just not aware of. And so it's a really popular question then. Okay, cool, so authentic, that sounds really good. How do I do that? Once there really is kind of much more of a cultivated understanding and awareness about the cultural impacts of growing up as a gay man in a homophobic world, in a homophobic culture and society, you know, then we can begin to think a little bit more about, well, what are the ways then that you can take what you now have really concrete, concretely identified as this irrational belief that I'm not good enough, that I'm inadequate as a man, as a gay man. Now is the time that we get to play. We get to go out there and do whatever it is that we want. Some things aren't going to stick. That's fine. And some things are going to stick. And we have to pay real close attention to what it is that does stick for us. And when we do that, then we invest more and more into those things. And when we invest more and more into those things, into those things that actually do create a spark within us, we're investing into who we are authentically. And when we do that, we, maybe not even knowingly, are really reinforcing to ourselves that who we are at the core, who we are authentically, matters.